So I think we can start. Good afternoon, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The 6,841st meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The provisional agenda of this meeting is the situation in the Middle East. The agenda is adopted. I wish to warmly welcome the distinguished Secretary General, the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, the Ministers of the Security Council members, and other distinguished representatives present in the Security Council chamber. Your presence is an affirmation of the importance of subject matter to be addressed. The Security Council will now begin its consideration of item two of the agenda. I wish to draw the attention of council members to document S-2012-686, a letter dated 6 September 2012 from the permanent representative of Germany to the United Nations addressed to the Secretary General transmitting a concept paper on the item under consideration. I shall now make a statement by, in my capacity as the Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Federal Republic of Germany. Your Excellencies, Mr. Secretary General of the United Nations Ban Ki-moon, Your Excellency, Mr. Secretary General of the League of Arab States, Nabil El Arabi, distinguished colleagues. Since Germany began its current term in the Security Council in January 2011, we have witnessed a dramatic change across the Near and the Middle East. The people in the region have expressed their hopes for dignity, democracy, for economic and social participation, for, for prosperity, and for the respect of their fundamental human rights. At the beginning, we have spoken of the Arab Spring. We have learned it would be better to speak of Arab seasons. The movement for change in the Arab world has not followed the same pattern in every country. Indeed, more than ever, the situation differs from one country to the other. But the process of change is continuing. We are all concerned about the recent turmoil in many Arab countries in response to a shameful anti-Islam video. Let me be very clear. I can understand very well that believers feel deeply offended by this horrible and shameful video, but the response to such provocations cannot be violence. There is no justification for violence and murder. Excellencies, what we are witnessing now is not a confrontation of religions, nor is it a clash of cultures. What we are witnessing now is a clash within societies. It is a struggle of the open-minded with the close-minded it is a struggle of the reasonable with the fundamentalists. It is a clash of the peaceful with the violent. This week is to strengthen those in all societies all over the world who stand up for respect and tolerance, for those who know that freedom and responsibility are but two sides of the same coin. There is no doubt where Germany stands, now more than ever, we are with those who work for peace. We see the challenges, but we believe in the historic opportunities that the change in the Arab world is opening up. Germany's offer for a transformation partnership to provide education, jobs, and growth continues to stand. Excellencies, the League of Arab States has assumed a leading role with regard to regional peace and security. It has taken a clear stance on the conflicts in Syria and Libya. For the Syrian people, however, the perspective of peace still seems a distant dream. As the international community, we must be united to stop the violence and help initiate a process of political transition. We must find a common response. We owe it to the people. We appreciate the active leadership of the Arab League to halt the killing in Syria. And Excellencies, the change in the Arab world has made peace in the Middle East more urgent than ever. Negotiations are the way to achieve a two-state solution that satisfies the legitimate demands on both sides, the Israelis and the Palestinians. 
We must therefore ensure that the peace process remain a priority on the international agenda. By endorsing the Saudi Peace Initiative, the League of Arab States has made a constructive offer that is of critical importance. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we believe that it is necessary to solidify and develop the cooperation between the UN and Arab League. The commitment of the Arab League to the values enshrined in the UN Charter is the basis for more cooperation. Above all, more focus is needed on what we can achieve together in the areas of conflict prevention and resolution. We need practical progress. For instance, we could think about more frequent briefings and consultations with representatives of the League of Arab States. I would also welcome the establishment of, an, of a UN office in Cairo to improve cooperation with the Secretariat of the Arab League. The time has come as the Arab world undergoes historical change. Let us seize the opportunity to open a new chapter of cooperation between the League of Arab States and the United Nations. I thank you. I now resume my function as President of the Council. And I now 